Hey interwebs, I'm Caleb Perone, and welcome to the first of hopefully many episodes of Tactical Tuesday, a new show where I'll be playing uh, more tactical games, and this week we are playing War Thunder Ground Forces. Now, uh, I showed off a little bit of this in uh, my channel update video, where I was actually talking about what I'd be playing, but I actually wanted to get down a little more nitty and gritty inside of it, and I had a pretty good round in this, and uh, yeah, I'll be kind of giving an overlay of what I did, maybe some tips and tricks, things that I've found. Now, I'm still playing in the very low tiers. As you can see here, I'm sliding all over the place, but uh, I'm still playing in the low tiers. I have not quite made my way out of there, but I'm researching, and I'm uh, in the second tier right now, getting up there into the third. And soon, I may even just buy a battle pack that uh, unlocks some special things for me and gives me premium, which is the, I guess you could say, subscription model. Uh, but anyways, I've got my T28 tank right here, that's uh, an AI guy on my left, and about right here is where I notice um, some enemies. I am spotted them out in the distance, and I did not quite get the arc I was looking for. I needed to be aiming for a green, and I, even though it flashed green, I still hit a red. So I'm going to try to angle myself up here behind the rocks, get some good cover, uh, make it so they can't really hit me. This is a gold mine right here of tanks. Sadly, I'm not very quick on the trigger, and I ended up missing all of those. Um, but, you know, that just happens. So, I think here in a second, action, yeah, um, I'm about to move up. And can I get the shot? That is my first kill of the game. Right through his turret into where the, I guess, where the commander was sitting. It was a beautiful shot, though. My teammates moving up on my left. Now, this is, uh, I believe, Domination or Kong... No, it's Domination, I think. Where you have uh, only one capture point. So, as you can see up at the top, my team is trying to push onto the point. But they're not quite there yet. Uh, in fact, I think they actually meet a lot of resistance, which really sucks. But the thing that sucks about fighting those guys right there is that they are tank destroyers. And especially the German ones. I I'm playing... Um, in the Russian tank class. Uh, there's only two right now, German and uh, Russian. But uh, I chose Russia, and the tank destroyers for the Germans are very angled, so if you're trying to shoot at them from the front, you have to get either directly through the turret or have something that can penetrate uh, very well on inclined surfaces. So the T-28, I believe, has a 72 millimeter cannon. Um, I can't quite get that penetration that I'm looking for unless I hit through the turret. And I've done it a few times, but it is very difficult. You want to try to come up through the side and hit into the engine compartment or go for the ammunition cache. Now, this guy, I'm trying to get, just like I did on my first target, through the, uh, the turret. But I can't quite get that, and I'm not in a very good position. As you can see, my gunner is now unconscious. So... I can't fire or turn my turret, which really sucks. That'll happen a few times, uh, but you just gotta learn to live with it and position yourself behind walls like this. Now this wall is actually destructible, as are a lot of the environments in this, so I can only take maybe one shot there before uh, the wall goes away. So this tank destroyer is at a very good position. Uh, he's up behind a rock where I can't really hit him. And then he's got two friendlies right there. There's another tank destroyer. If I would have fired a little bit to the right there, I probably would have got through his uh, little machine gun and got a kill. I didn't. I hit the armor. And now I'm going to pay for the price. And there we are, down and out. But I think I did get the kill assist on that. Yeah, he's burning up. So I got the points. All right, I'm going to hop back into my second T-28. Um... I really like the T-50 on the lower tier as well. It's got some uh, angled armor for the Russian side, but I'm not, I haven't quite gotten to the point where I know how to use it as much as the T-20, uh, 28. But then again, these are all lower tier things. I will move out of them fairly quickly. Uh, once I get into the second and third tier, you get a lot more uh, heavy firepower. I, I prefer heavy tanks or medium tanks at the lowest. Not a big fan of light tanks because you just don't have the penetration there. Uh, a lot of the German tanks have 
very, I think it's uh, 20 millimeter or, or, or 28, something like that, millimeter cannons. And they're usually semi-automatic, like uh, kind of like this guy right here, except he's AA, so he's trying to shoot down aerial targets, which is kind of funny because they don't really do anything, at least that I've noticed. Um, in the early part of the beta, and in, even in the alpha, you could unlock biplanes for either side, and you could try to bomb people. But in this, uh, they've taken them out. At least I, I haven't found any planes that you can get. But as far as I know, they've taken them out. And soon, I hope they will add them back in, because that would be very interesting. I'm going to come up behind this guy, and boom, right through his engine compartment. That is a, another confirmed kill. I'm going to try to maneuver myself around the side of this point and hopefully get the drop on the enemy uh, I'm actually in a fairly good position I mean the bridge isn't the best place to be simply because it's very open on either side but I have the drop on these guys I can shoot behind where their armor is uh, is lighter as well as where it's not as angled so I think this guy's got a beat on me but I take him out first and that is a kill streak of five can I get the kill on this guy? Let's find out. Nope. Now see, you'll notice there, it's flashing green, but if I shoot at the green, sometimes the trajectory of your shot will actually change so you can miss. Like right there, I actually hit a red or a yellow area, so I actually uh, missed it. And of course, artillery takes him out, but I get the kill assist nonetheless, giving me a lot of lions. Now, that's just a gold mine for shooting. I'm, like, smashing my keyboard at this point, trying to get into a good position. T28 takes a little while to maneuver, but I want to take my time, ease up on the shot, get a kill right there. That makes six, and we're about to win the game. Everything's great, and I believe this is when stuff starts kicking off, and we win. But this right here... You can see perfect green lineup. I almost get the kill and the game ends right as I pull the trigger. So I, it doesn't fire. Third place on the team though. All around pretty good game. I enjoyed it. And that's going to be the end of this video. So make sure that you rate, comment, subscribe. Do whatever the hell you want. I don't care. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.